posted a version of Guitar Rag by Chet Atkins and uh, I've adapted this slightly and made it a little bit more accessible because basically in the beginning it was a song and if you find uh, a video of Tommy Emmanuel singing this as a song uh, on YouTube you'll see that uh, as well as being technically excellent uh, of course there's a kind of fun with it and, and a passion and a movement that is very often missing in uh, other people's performances. Even though somebody may be te technically excellent, there's a little bit something extra that, that we're looking for. So what I'm going to do in this lesson is to split, split it up into maybe four parts. We'll see exactly uh, how, how it goes. But for the first lesson, we're going to take a look at the first section and try and work out how we can try and give that same enthusiasm as uh, someone like Tommy Emmanuel without needing to spend uh, 2,000 hours learning how to to make his fingers work exactly in the same way because obviously the man is a genius. So this is a piece in, in E and we use an E chord and in places an E7 chord and then we have this chord basically an F on the second fret so F sharp, but maybe a, not a full F sharp, a half chord. And we also use our little finger to give that characteristic. And then we go down to B7, sometimes in this form, and sometimes in this form. And we slide that up. E. Now I also use a kind of a hybrid chord on the 5th fret, it's A. And then down here, I use a kind of a E7 in a simplified format. And then back to the F shape on the second fret, the F sharp. And then we use C7, shaped like a B7, and we move back down to start again. Now on the E7, because we're alternating and because it's Travis picking, we're damping heavily with our palm. And also with our, our right hand, our, sorry, our left hand is also damping the strings. As soon as we hit, we release a little. So I'm not hitting this, this string at all. I'm not hitting the fifth bass string. So basically, I'm not going to play it. So I use the E in this form, and this is the chord I start off with. And then as you know, we move up to the F sharp. Now right from the start in this tune there's a lot going on. The fingers, both the fingers are being used. At the same time the thumb is maintaining that solid Travis beat. But we need to start to, we can't just dive straight into this and start to play all the intricate stuff. We need some kind of strategy to, to approach it. So what I suggest is that first of all we just use one finger and instead of making the intricate sound we just make the basic sound. Which is quite easy, quite accessible and later on we'll start to use our second finger to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's take a look at the tablature and how we're going to start to play guitar rag. So now we have this 
this basic strategy to start to play the song. We can start to add things that make it more interesting. Some of them are quite subtle and we're not really aware of them when somebody's playing quite fast. For example, we're starting to alternate here, but in fact it starts with a hammer on. And at the same time, as we move from this E chord to the F sharp chord and back down to B7, there's something that you notice. For example, we hammer on, so we have this note, and then as we move to the F sharp, this note appears again, and down to B7, and again, and down to E. So we can hit this note and make a feature of it. start to add the interest. We can also change this instead of hitting that note directly. We move here to the F and instead of hitting the note with a pinch and back to B7, we can hammer on. I started to do this because when you're playing at speed and you try and hit that note, sometimes you miss and it becomes a hammer on because you're a little bit late with your left hand. So I decided to make a feature of it. So you can mix these two up. Sometimes if you're fast enough you can hit that note directly or you can just hammer on and make a feature of it. Let's take a look at the tablature for that section. So now we have our basic form, we've added the hammer on or the pinch for that note, which adds to the interest. And now we want to add something, a little something to the treble strings. At the moment we're using one finger. So we want to add some little notes in there to make it more interesting with our other finger. Now this means that where you were using your first finger before for the melody, because you're going to be slipping a note in before that melody, the main melody note, you'll have to hit with your first finger and then your second finger follows on. It sounds like this. Let's take a look at the final piece of tablature for this session. enjoyed that. The next time we'll take a look at what happens when we move up to the fretboard and some other variations. Keep on picking, have a good time. I'll see you next time.